friends welcome to our channel knowledge amplifier and in my this particular video i am going to show you how db scan can remove or just distinguish in between original points which are part of cluster and the noise points okay so for this particular demonstration purpose i am taking one very popular data set okay for db scan CLC clear all close all warning off then I am reading the data as read table okay data data set dot CSV this I have already uploaded here right and if you are taking from some other place then you have to give the complete path right then let me plot this so scatter of data colon comma one there is first row and data uh, colon comma two so, sorry this is colon comma one is first column and colon comma two is second column right so give semicolon control a evaluate selection so here new figure window will appear input arguments must be numeric date time duration or categorical okay what is the type of my data whose of data let me check okay this is table yes so what we can do table to array okay we are converting from table to array because scatter plot works on this kind of data only array type data matrix type data date time okay so here if i uh, observe this particular data it will look like this okay here let me pass one more argument so here you can see field okay so what it will do it will if you just observe one single data point it is hollow right so it will fill those data and it will be looking good for visualization uh, point of view okay so here you can see this is what is our actual data looks like you can clearly understand that there are major one two three four five six six clusters and raised to all are these kind of noisy points okay so one is this kind of u save one is inverted u save one is inverted t save one is seven okay then here horizontal bar and here kind of s save data is present and list all are noise points okay now let's see how db scan able to do this beautifully so first i will be using db scan okay idx equal to db scan of my data comma so here we need to pass epsilon that is the radius of the circle which we are going to consider for classifying each data point as core point or border point or noise points right uh, and we need to specify uh, number of neighbors should come inside that particular circle right so first circle radius i am specifying the same as i have used earlier 0 0.5 comma 9 0 0.5 as my epsilon or radius of the circle and 9 as number of neighbors okay and each time i'll be checking unique of idx okay unique uh, unique labels present after uh, applying db scan okay because you can understand how many unique labels we should guess one two three four five six and seven that is for noise okay total seven different clusters has to be formed including noise so let us check control a and evaluate selection if we do here we'll be getting okay unique of idx let me uh, remove the semicolon otherwise we will not be getting a result right so here we are getting minus one that is all the data points are considered as noise points right now why this is happening you can easily understand previously when i was discussing the db scan implementation in matlab where i have taken these two values 0 0.5 and 9 for that demonstration purpose there the range was very small in our data but here if you consider 0 to 700 okay so what is actually hap happening inside a circle which is having radius 0 0.5 these nine data points are not at all coming for any single data point and as a result all these are defined as a uh, single single cluster that is noise okay so what we can do we have to increase this radius okay i am increasing the radius to two so what will happen inside a bigger circle let us check whether nine points are coming or not so i'll be running the same part okay and again we are getting minus one that is this is also not fulfilling the criteria so i am making this time as five so 
as if you recall my discussion video i have told you if you increase the epsilon then there is a possibility of merging two different clusters okay so that's what we are trying to do all are now individually are noise points so we are trying to increase the radius of the circle so that uh, different different noise points will be uh, clustered together okay so now let's make this five and implement the same okay so these two lines I'll be running and I'll be checking how many individual clusters we are getting 159 this is quite big okay so what I will do I will make this again increase further why I am increasing this you can understand that I want to join different different clusters okay so here 17 we are getting okay so now we are getting 17 now what we can do let us play with this number of neighbors okay if you recall my previous video discussion i have told you that if we increase number of neighbors what will happen more number of points will be considered as noise points and eventually what will happen that the clusters which will be formed will only concentrate inside dense region that is better cluster robust cluster will be getting if we increase the number of nearest neighbor okay if we increase this then the clusters formed will be robust okay now what i think is happening for this particular case that 17 clusters means these particular things or these things are making one one cluster so i'll be making this maybe 15 let me do and let's check now unique number of index this is restricting this to 8 okay or how many required 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 for noise points so if we increase the epsilon a little bit there will be possibility of reduction of one cluster that is two cluster will be merged at this increased value let us check now so uh, 6 that is minus 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so including noise points now we are getting 7 clusters which is our desired one right so what we can do let us see that g scatter so i'll be giving tab uh, data of colon comma 1 comma data of colon comma 2 okay and then here i can specify index i am not giving the color specification let matlab decide by itself okay right and here i can give one figure maybe all right let us run this code hope we'll be getting correct clusters so see here this is this usep is classified as one cluster this one is this inverted usep is another cluster this inverted t is one cluster this seven is another cluster this horizontal bar is one cluster and this irregular side, uh, type s is another cluster and all these are considered as noise points so see including noise points one two three four five six seven seven clusters are formed as expected okay so this is how db scan is able to uh, differentiating between noise points and cluster points just the thing is you have to set this epsilon and uh, nearest number of neighbors to be considered uh, while uh, doing our clustering okay you have to specify these two parameters very properly right the code and the data set i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go through that okay very important data set for db scan visualization and here we can visualize the power of this see in presence of noise also it is able to uh, distinguish between cluster points and noise points okay this is the importance of db scan so i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video thank you